Hi, this is Casey from Budget PC Solutions, and we are going through a couple of general troubleshooting steps. In this episode, we will be learning how to clear our cache and cookies in the Firefox browser. In other videos, we have done Google Chrome as well as Internet Explorer. In Firefox, it is just like every browser, it's a slightly different place. In this one, they have a menu at the top. It does say Firefox with a little arrow. We want to click on that. And in Firefox, we want to go to History, and here we want to tab to Clear Recent History. And when this, when you click on that, a menu will pop up, and we have a few options here. Very similar to the other browsers, we have our Browsing and Download History. We have a Form and Search History, which is anything that you may have typed in, names or phone numbers in a form on a website, that would clear that data. Also, our cookies and our cache, and once again, this browser does name them directly. And active logons, which is our passwords that we may have typed in. It does clear the password data, which means if you have a website that you would want to log into, that it clears the autocomplete portion of that. So if you would go to that website again, you would have to type your password again. Offline website data and site preferences are definitely optional it's just a little bit of extra information that Firefox grabs from the websites that you visited in Firefox as well we do have the option to select the time for how long do we want to delete this for has it been the last hour last two hours all everything today or everything from all time more than likely if you're going to clear cache and cookies we want to do it from everything does give you a little warning message that says all selected items will be cleared. This action cannot be undone. But that is exactly what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything and hit the clear now button. And it just takes a moment and it has cleared all of that data out of Firefox. What we would like to do at this point is close out of Firefox and restart the browser. And that's all there is to it. Once again, this is Casey from Budget PC Solutions. Please visit our website at www.budgetpcsolutions.com and we'll see you in the next video.